Yes, uh, we have the clock singing good times, and we have Pudamos singing a written from the hills, which is pretty sung by the Patabella Hill. And now, let us go perform Scooby Doo. Where are you, American? Have you heard of Scooby Doo? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Good boy. Where are you? We need some help from you now. Hey! Come on, Scooby Doo. I see you pretending you got a slip up. But you're not fooling me, cause I can see the way you shake and shiver. You know you got a mystery to solve, so Scooby Doo be ready for your time. Don't that. Don't look back. Hey, Scooby Doo, if you come through, you're gonna have Wow. I gotta say, I think that was Spitz's best performance of the whole show. Yeah. I mean, when I first saw him, I'm like, no, he's not gonna get far. He has got the voice, but. But here, I would say, okay, you're showing a late entry to meet the. to meet the. The quarterfinals are like, yes, and it looks like you might win this group, yes, because I love Clock. Clock was one of my favourites, but this, I'm, I'm convinced that you can make the group, you can make the quarterfinals, yes. I mean, and this is a very energetic song. You got all the crowd up. Um, yes, if I rank song wise, you have the weakest song, but I have to say, you might, you might escape for the bottom two, is it? because that was one of your best songs, yeah, who I think would be the bo bottom, I think Poodle Moth might be in the bottom, but, you know, my thing is, I'll probably put Buck in the bottom, you know what they're like, like, we're not going to put the weakest singer, we're going to put the strongest singer in the bottom with the wild card. I don't know what they're going to do, they're going to put the cut in the bottom. I hope not. Anyway, let's see how the wild card does. Goodbye. <laughs>